Lifeline scholarships or school choice vouchers have shaped into a major budget debate this week in Harrisburg. The vouchers would provide state funding for students in certain schools to pursue alternative options. And WENY's New York Cap or excuse me, Pennsylvania Capital correspondent Brendan Scanlon is live to tell us about them and why they're at the center of attention. Brendan. Hey there, Renata and Nick. Good evening. Well, these vouchers are strongly opposed by teachers unions and most Democrats who say they will actually hurt public schools. Supporters say they can provide a critical lifeline for students in failing schools. And with tomorrow's budget deadline, they are certainly a major topic here at the state capitol. I fundamentally don't believe that somebody's zip code should determine the, the level of their education. Representative Clint Outlet says he sponsored House Bill 1432 to provide a lifeline for students in failing school districts. So that they can move on and, and be able to get that education that they need that is so critical to success. Outlet's bill would allow K-12 through students in the bottom 15% of schools to apply for a scholarship to attend an alternative school setting, such as a private school. This would benefit a student that's currently stuck in a failing school. These are schools that have historically been performing low in the Commonwealth. And losing funding to their school district. Teachers unions and public education advocates say the vouchers would siphon hundreds of millions of state dollars away from public schools. This is a bill that is bad for taxpayers, bad for school districts, and it's bad for students. Allett disagrees. It's, it's not true. Um, there is not going to be a reduction in the funding for those schools. This is a new pot of money that we're setting aside for these lifeline scholarships. Stop the craziness with vouchers right now. But Donna Cooper with Children First says any funding diverted for the purpose of education is diverting money away from the 1.7 million public school students. Schools get their state money based on the number of students they have. If the number of students they have drops, they get less money. And now here's where things get interesting. Democratic Governor Josh Shapiro first showed signs of support for the vouchers during the campaign. However, he renewed, reiterated that support in a recent interview on Fox News. That interview is what drove uh, public education advocates here to the Capitol to speak out. If enacted, Shapiro would be the first governor in Pennsylvania history to sign a school voucher bill into law. For now, reporting live at the state Capitol in Harrisburg for WENY News, I'm Brendan Scanlon, Renata and Nick. Back to you.